there you go, the electric T20 by Coswheel. Okay, so for starters, Coswheel is a brand in the US that specializes in electric mobility. So they have various electric products like this one, the T20, which also has different variants. They also have folding bikes, road bikes, and even mountain bikes. So do check them out on the channel down below. And thank you, Coswheel, for sending this in. Okay, to start off our video, I know what you guys are thinking. This looks nothing like your typical e-bike. And I think it's partially because of its hidden battery that's hidden within the frame and the not so obvious looking hub motor, which we will talk about later. But yeah, first things first, personally, I think this is one of the best looking modern electric bikes out there. It looks discreet, yes, but it also looks very modern, sometimes with a hint of Scandinavian design in there, which I really like. I also like the matte finish texture and the overall shape of the bike, which is unlike any other you've seen in the market. But yeah, looks wise, like other bikes, this thing can run on three modes. So first mode is full manual. Full manual meaning the bike is off and the bike accelerates as you pedal. The second option is pedal assist, meaning as you pedal, the bike accelerates and helps you push the bike uphill and up to speed and third option which is my favorite is the full electric mode so full electric mode lets the bike accelerate from zero up to 45 kilometers per hour in less than 30 seconds so it acts like a full electric bike without requiring you to pedal and also that's one of my requirements in purchasing an e-bike okay so now let's start off with the details so down here we have dual sport fat tires so this one's a typical 20 by 4 this one is non-tubeless but like i said dual sport so it can do some slight off-roading or some fire roads obviously you match with this really long front suspension but sadly it's non-adjustable but i think that's okay although sometimes whenever i ride this and drop it on sidewalks i can feel it bottom out sometimes which is not a big deal since i will mainly be using this bike for cities but yeah, moving here up front, we have a headlight that's attached to your handlebar controls up there. I will talk about it later. But yeah, we have an LED and DRL. It's very typical of an e-bike. I wish they came up with a circular LED here. Personally, I think that would clean up the look overall. And I think it would tie up the design even nicer. Okay, so moving here towards the back, we have a interesting rear suspension. I think one of the highlights of this bike is actually this rear suspension. Compared to the front, this is more capable and softer. And I think it looks nice and over-engineered for this size. But yeah, rear suspension-wise, I'd say this is one of my favorite parts of the bike. But yeah, continuing down here, we have a 7-speed Shimano gear set attached to this hub motors. So this is a 500 watts, 20 amps brushless hub motors capable of projecting you up to 40 to 45 kilometers per hour. But yeah, like I said, we have a full Shimano shifter here, which is always a welcome addition for a bike of this price motor wise i'd say it's very capable like i said it can push you from 0 to 45 effortlessly it can even climb hills on full electric mode only which is impressive but yeah other than that as a daily commuter i think this motor is more than enough for your needs okay so moving up here we have a regular looking seat there's a different variant for this Coswell T20 and the seat is actually located here which actually lowers the seat height for this one. I'm 5'7 or 175cm and I find this bike a little bit too tall but personally for me I actually prefer the tall seat height so I can have a commanding view of the road. But yeah, for riders shorter than me you're probably gonna have to tiptoe on this bike. Okay, so moving back here, we have your combination brake lights and turn signal lights. So the controls are all the way up there on the left handle bar. And if you press left, it signals to the left. Press right, it signals to the right. And if you brake on both levers, left and right, you get the brake signals. Now let's move to the exciting part. So this right here is the frame and this is actually where the battery is also located. So on paper from zero to full, the charging time is around five hours plus and there are two ways to charge this. First is when the battery is inserted in the frame and you can charge it outdoors. Second option is to pull up the battery, bring it inside and then charge it there. So roughly I'd say more or less five hours to full charge the bike. Okay, so now let's hop on the bike. Like I said, I'm 5'7 or 175cm and hopping on the bike, it's a little bit too tall for me. I can almost fat foot if I sit here on the frame, which is ideal when mounting the bike. But when I sit on the saddle, now I'm almost tiptoe. But yeah, personally, I don't mind this because I prefer sitting upright and having a commanding view of the road. So this one actually feels just right for me. Okay, so now let's check the controls. So for starters, we have a black and white portrait style LED here. And to turn the bike on, you just have to press this. 
and it boots up the LCD and the bike. Display wise, I'd say this is one of the best looking displays out there for an e-bike. It's clear to read even on harsh daylight. It looks nice and modern in person. But yeah, on the menu wise, we have your battery, we have your speed, we also have your gear indicator and the infos are displayed down below. And to cycle through the info, we have your integrated switch here. So press this one and you can cycle through total kilometers traveled, average speed, trip computer so you can reset this every now and then to compute your distance and speed i got this battery in full and i have never charged it yet and i have already traveled 20 kilometers on i'd say 80 percent full electric so barely any pedaling there on full electric realistically i'd say this bike can do 50 kilometers that is if you use it on mostly flat roads and for pedal assist i'd say more or less 70 to 80 kilometers Okay, so moving back here towards the left, you have your headlight switch. So whenever you turn on the bike, the DRLs passively turn on and you just have to engage it for a few seconds to engage the headlights. And lastly, we have your gear shifting buttons. So this one goes all the way up to five levels. So now let's set it to five and that's what we're gonna try later. But yeah, down here we have your valet mode. So you just press this and the bike will move slowly. This actually helps whenever you're maneuvering the bike in tight corners. But yeah, this one actually has a horn down here. And I'd say it's a very nice addition on top of the signal lights, which you don't normally get on other e-bikes. Okay, so moving here to the rear, like I said, we have a 7-speed Shimano gear shifter. So this one is for shifting down and this one is for shifting up. I always set it to 7 and just forget about that since I use this bike mainly for full electric mode. And to accelerate, we have a twist throttle here, just like a motorbike. And just like a motorbike, we also have your front brakes on the right side. So unlike other electric bikes, the front brake is normally on the left side. But for this one, the acceleration is a twist throttle instead of a thumb throttle. And the front brakes is on the right instead of the left. To accelerate, just gently pull the throttle and you can feel the motor kick in and it's very easy to hit top speed here you can definitely easily hit 40 kilometers per hour okay so now let's try it on this uphill full electric this is an almost 30 degree hill and obviously it helps even better if you pedal but yeah daily commuter wise for the city I think the range and the power is way more than enough. You'd probably have around two to three days of usage on a single charge if you use it for daily commutes in the city. And stopping power wise, I'd say it's more than enough for your needs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the overall look and performance of the bike. Overall, I'd say this is one of the best complete packages out there. Yes, it's missing a couple of features like maybe the adjustable front suspension. But then again, I'm getting this bike mainly for city use and design. Whenever I ride this bike in the city, I always get asked what kind of brand this is, what kind of bike this is and how much it is. It's really that good looking, especially in person and especially on this satin matte gray finish. I feel like it gives this bike a very premium look. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Personally, if you ask me who is this bike for, I'd say it's mostly for the city commuters. Yes, it has nice fat dual sport tires, but it can only do so much being that it's an electric bike. Personally, I love standing while riding on it. It gives me that very commanding dirt bike feel whenever I'm riding this thing. But again, personally, looks wise, I think this is the best selling point of this bike. And if you want to watch more electric videos and motorcycle reviews, do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.